there is a little extra, guys. Uh, welcome to Kembo for Inter Intermediate Lesson 12. Hey, you too. My name is Sensei Roger. And I'm Paul. And we're just going to bring you the lesson today. There you go. All right, let's do this. We're going to go right into a review of Ford Bear Hug, as you can see from the other lessons from uh, Kempo for Beginners. So here we go. He's got me in a bear hug. I'm going to clap the ears, thumbs to the eyes. I'm going to take the palms here as I step back, and then I'm going to come with a ridge hand or a rolling back fist. So let's do this in the air. So we're going to clap the ears. So when we do this, we want our fingers cupped and put the thumbs mm -hmm. together too like this. Yeah. But what you're going to do is slam into that. You're going to rush some air into there too. You, you may mess up their hearing there. Yeah. One thing, you're going to distort them too. Distract. Bam! That's going to mess up that inner ear. Mm -hmm. So it mess with the equilibrium. You'll throw them off balance when you do that for right. one thing. Plus it'll hurt like crazy. So slap. Thumb to the eyes. We already know you get poked in the eye just lightly. Yeah. Oh that yeah. It sucks, man. So thumb, or clap, thumbs. Now just take your palm here. You can take both hands if they're still hanging out for some stupid reason. Now from here you're going to step back. You can step back either foot. But whatever, whatever foot you step back with, that's the one you're going to throw the back strike with, the ridge hand or the rolling back fist. So that's forward bear hug. Let's do it again. Clap, thumbs, push. When I push too, if they're hanging out of me, I drop my weight and move right. back. Right. But at this point here, I doubt they're going to be hanging out. All right, come over and grab a hold of me and bury your head in my chest. See, this might happen. So you can't clap both ears, but I can get one ear. I can get one eye, I can get the other eye, and you know, once I get that eye, it's yeah. already there. When you're going to let go, you're going to grab your eye. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I can get one ear. Right. Just improvise. And the cupping of the hands, I was thinking about this, it's like stepping on a styrofoam cup. You know, if it's already flat, it doesn't, make it, it doesn't do anything. No noise. The yeah. boy's got air pockets in there, and you step on it, you know. Oh, yeah, it makes that noise. Yeah, exactly. So. And you don't have to wait until someone actually gets a hold of you. Come to grab me. Why? Right there. Boom. Yeah. Now here's the cool thing about that. Come at me. I clap, and then I can even do that. So if I can get over you, clap quick enough, I don't even need to thumb the eyes. Right. I clapped your ears, I pushed your arms away, now I'm out of harm's way. Mm -hmm. That was extra. I'll charge you on that one later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to move into the technique for this uh, lesson right here. You've seen us do that in the beginning of this video. Right. So it's called crossing talent. This is a base technique in the Kempo, but it's also a Jiu Jitsu movement. Right. Hold me, please. See, in the Jiu Jitsu, a lot of times you would use your palm here, either this way, you even grab, or you could just push with your form. In the Kempo, we don't have to do it that way. You don't have to be great at Jiu Jitsu to do Kempo. From here, I gotta hold this. I can break that thing. I'm doing a full on inward block, pushing it down. Mm -hmm. So let's go over here. We're gonna pick this arm up like an outward block. I'll throw a punch at me, please. If I catch, catch that, I got the same move. Right. You see what's happening there? So I'm doing an outward block, I'm grabbing it, step forward, break, elbow poke to the temple or the side of the head, and then down to the back or the back of the skull. Okay, come over this way, please. So I'm going to change the angles a few times. So here, you might not be able to do that. That's fine, poke them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> and kick in here. Right, right. I mean, it's not rocket science. Mm -hmm. You like, can't get that to work. I mean, do something else. Right. But say you are able to do this. See, he's trying to hang on. You see how yeah. he started going? Yeah. What I did actually is turn my hook hand like this a little bit, and then I grabbed it. Now look, I step across. Now if I go into a horse, right, I can do that. This is one of the mistakes a lot of students do. They bend forward. Oh. That actually right. released the pressure off of you. Oh, I didn't know. Right, hold me here, I'm going to show you. Now at this point, I don't have the break because I didn't get his arm turned. Mm -hmm. so now I'd have to turn it this way. But Paul's strong. I'm not going to sit there and fight with right, this. Right. So get a hold of me here. I'm going to come up, grab, break. Now at this point, I'm smashing that. Yeah. If I bend forward, they'll look. Yeah. Which is, you know, which is more? Right. Think about it. Stand up. Okay, now go back. Stand up. It's a lot harder. Well, yeah. More pressure on you, isn't You're it? You're dropping all your weight when the horse stands. And I'm right so, in here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Hold me here. Pick it up, grab, poke the eye, get it. Paul's strong, man. 
he don't like that elbow to turn. <laughs> I would just do this then. <laughs> I, I'm improvising, guys, for one reason. When I'm here, as soon as I he breaks free, his hand does this. Yep. He's protecting that elbow. Right, right, right. All right, so let's show them the elbow from over here. Come on with this one. All right, now, say I do get this thing turned. I come up underneath, break that here. So I want to hit right behind the elbow. I get this turned here. Break, elbow, elbow. You guys ever practice? I know some of you guys are martial artists. Some of you guys are Kempo guys. But you ever practice stuff and go, this doesn't work. Sometimes I get some of the women students to go, this technique I had a hard time with. My boyfriend, you know, we we're trying to do it and then I couldn't get him off of me. Right, right. Or my husband or something like that. That's because they're strong and sometimes they didn't go exactly the way you want to. Right. See, he, every, almost every time he makes it harder for me to do the move that way. But here's the thing. I'm out. Right. I'm out. I'm not going to horse around with this mm -hmm. and sit there. I have to have that move. Right. Just right. Right, right. Now, right. come on, guys. You, if you guys already watched this by, you know, from the beginning to now even, mm -hmm. you know me better than that. I'm not right. going to sit there and be stuck in the box. I have to do this technique just right. Right. But check this out, too. If I do get it here, because where my problem is getting that elbow is when I'm grabbing, right, right. his elbow automatically drops. Mm -hmm. It's just the structure, the way he is, it's just the way it happens. But grab hold of me here. Now as we're here, I can start and then grab. Right. So that's where we have to adapt. Right. Paul was talking about that beforehand when we went over the move before this lesson. All right, grab hold of me here. You're saying here, you can already set that up. Here, I curve that finger over before I get a full grab and break that. So now when I do hit this, that arm's not going over. Let's go over here. See this, guys? So I'm here, breaking that. Is that now I got the move. Right. I'm not sitting here trying to get that grab. Right, right. I showed you guys, I showed you, you know, for me struggling to get that move just right. You know, the thing is, though, I lost the move. Okay, I'm out. Yeah. Grabbing it here. I'm getting there quicker now, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, Do you see that, guys? So pick it up. You can even start this here. There's that break here. You don't have to have a full grip to break that elbow. Right. All I have to have is this, where it doesn't go that way. Right. Hold your arm up, please. That's what's going to happen. See that? I'm right here. That's it. Yeah. So at this point, one more time. We come up, we hook over top like this before we get the thumb around that. Now at this point, I can step in, just take that forearm, bash it in there like an inward block. I can even take it on an upward angle if I notice that the elbow is down, and then push it forward. Now I got my grab, and I'm bending my knees. Here's that poke to the set ahead. This is what I like to do in the school. Hey, look at me. <laughs> I want them to look at me as I'm hitting them. And then you come down in the back. Nice. Alright, I hope you guys got something out of that. I mean, we went a whole lot in that one technique. But well, a lot of people well. do it wrong. All right, all right. Yeah. I mean, like I said, even if you can't get it, if you can at least spin, or most people turn. You're turning your opponent away even for a moment where you might be able to punch them in the head with the other hand because they're going to be to the side of you. So there's all, all right, a lot to do. Yeah, there. all kinds of stuff yeah. to do. This, that's why I said this is a central move in Kempo. Let's do it off to the side because it's in our form, Kempo 1. Here we go, pick this hand up. See this, and you can turn it like that. Step in, break as you grab, elbow poke, down. Okay, so ready? Pick that up, step as you turn, break, elbow, down. Let's do the other side, pick it up, turn that hand, break, elbow, down. All right, let's go right into the Kempo 1. I almost call it Kempo Set 1. Like I told you guys before, I was going to name it that, and I seen one of Tracy's kids uh, made up a card and named it Kempo Set 1. I was like, well, I'm not going to take that. Right, right. Since they're in my backyard, pretty much. They're in my 
you know, home area. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to name it for, you know, the same as theirs. All right, so let's do this here. Start off the bow. Step one, two, roll this. Okay, now from here, we're going to step up with the left. Remember this, guys? Scimitar, hand comes back. Screwed up. There you go. Okay, you with us? Yeah, I'll stick All right, elbow smash, right? From here, what you're going to do is bring the hands up, push it down, ridge hand. Other side, block. Elbow smash, right? You're going to come back right here. You can do the elbow, double push, ridge hand. Left foot steps to the corner. Step with the right, punch in the head. Right side thrust, step to this corner. Right parry. Left step, punch. Left side thrust. Okay, now this is where I'm going to cross step. This is the new part, guys. So right from there, I'm not putting my foot down. I'm taking my left foot cross in front and right. Now I'm going to twist out. I'm going to shuffle step. Here comes the technique. Can you put your hand out. Left hand, lift it up. You're going to grab it. Here's your step and break. Elbow down. We want to go to the corner. Now from here, slide left foot to right. Step to this corner towards the trophies. Right hand comes out. Lift it. Grab. Step. Break. Elbow. And down. Right, I'm going to do it by myself. Two is Paul may have been out of the frame of the you know the video frame. So let me do it here. I will go right in the center. Hopefully you guys get a good view of this. So here we go. Cross, twist, shuffle, come out. Shuffle. Here's the cool thing about it. I didn't say it in there, but once we come from here across, we twist out. We can shuffle step downward block, so it makes it a productive thing. We're not just holding the hand out. We shuffle downward. Then you got in here. Now we go to technique. Shuffle down, showing the technique. So there it is. Kepa one. All right. All right. There's a quote. Paul's going to read it today. Great quote. If you always concentrate on the negative in the world, how can you ever make a positive effect? I like that. Who said that? Uh, anonymous. <laughs> anonymous. <laughs> so some guy said that. <laughs> we don't know. Some guy is really some smart. Guy. <laughs> some guy is real smart. He might have had a smart attack, though. <laughs> Yeah. This is why I call it a smart attack, guys. A smart attack is when someone is in it that smart, but they have one smart idea. Yeah. So there's a smart attack. We don't know. Yeah, maybe he was drinking a monster or something. <laughs> we'll just mess with you guys. Yeah. But there, seriously, though, if we always you know, concentrate on the negative, you know, there's so much negative things in this world. We already talked about this. You guys watch these videos, yeah. you know. Right. There's always negative in the world. Right. So if we focus on that, how are we going to do it? You know, like for, you know, let's put it this way. My son, he was like in the conspiracy theories for a while. And he's going, I'm like, son, some may be true. But is there anything that you're going to do about it? Right. No. I was like, why are you worried about it then? Right. You're not going to do anything about it. Yeah. You might as well focus on what's positive. What can you do to make an effect in this world? That's going to be, you know, what what can you do to make it right? Mm -hmm. you know, right. Do things positive. Right, right. So I, I like that quote a lot. That's why it's on that board. Yep. So if you guys have any comments, yeah, put them down below. Come on. Right. Uh, be, down there. be a light, not a shadow. Yeah. That's the same guy who said that. Be a light, not a shadow. <laughs> you know, but you know the thing is, you guys already know that we're Christians. But the thing is, a lot of Christians. They are focused on negative things. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible tells us to be light of the world. We're supposed to shine God's light that's in us along the world. Right. And then how can we do that if we're focused on the negative? Right. We could say, okay, that's negative, but how can I make a positive effect on that? Mm -hmm. Right. And that's where we're going to go. With. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, now, what are you waiting for? Come on, do so. Thanks for watching. And check out our uh, other channel, The Grimes Factor. And also, 
check out uh, Tracy's Karate here. You, some of you guys are with me right now this far, and you're watching. Tracy's Karate, you know, you can see it all over the country. But if you like the way I personally teach, I'm not all over the country. But if you're in the North Ridgeville, Ohio area, come check us out. So Tracy's Karate, North Ridgeville, 35522 Center Ridge. Check us out. God bless. God bless.